Hello and welcome to Chris's Caravan Diary. My name's Chris Gosling and I used to present the Caravan Channel on Sky 166. This year in 2011 we're here to invite you to follow us really as we travel around Britain and hopefully a couple of bits of Europe and have an interesting time. We've got a new to us second-hand caravan, it's a Goba which is a folding caravan and we bought that second hand because it's light and it's easy to tow being a folding caravan it, it goes down below the height of the car and you keep a fairly good fuel consumption as to as against towing one of those large white devices that we've towed for several years this year we're going to be looking at all kinds of things, really things that I guess kind of interest me. And the first one that we've tripped over is this little device. It's called a Rimoska and it's a cooker of sorts that comes from the Czech Republic. It's made there essentially because in the dim and distant past I think the Czech people had trouble buying things like cookers and they had trouble getting good electricity and so on and so someone came up with the idea of this little device which is essentially just a simple pot and a lid that includes a, a cooking element and essentially this does the job of, of roasting meals or making meals all in one go for a very small amount of electricity although I have to say it's quite expensive to buy. We had our first test flight with that yesterday and we had a, a chicken and potatoes and, and vegetables and they were roasted beautifully, they tasted nice and they were properly cooked. So I have to say to you it's a very nice little tool. We'll look at this more later on. One of the things that we always do when we get a new to us caravan is take it on a bit of a test flight. Today our little goba is at a campsite called Peewit Caravan Park which is literally about two miles away from our front door. It's about eight miles I guess away from where we normally stow the caravan, where we store it. And in fact this is, is, this always seemed to me to be a good idea to take the caravan out for a night or maybe two as we have done this time and try everything out, make sure we understand where everything works. Because this is a folding caravan you have a little bit more of an issue with making sure that things pack up properly and you can tuck things away in appropriate corners and yet find them easily. We've had a really lovely couple of days, it's just before the Easter holiday, the sun is, is actually blistering down and I hope you guys who go away for your Easter break have a really nice time. We've already had ours, thank you, and we'll be awake after Easter. We'll see you soon.